Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe and today we actually have a good amount of stuff to cover. We've got Taylor and Travis in New York City. We've got them going on a double date. We have them at a sporting event. Um, Taylor announced some exciting news this morning. The Eras Tour is literally this weekend, which is crazy. So, so much to dive into. Let's first start with last week at this point, last weekend. Taylor and Travis hit the road. They leave uh, Kansas City to spend their bye week in New York City. I feel like New York City has become Taylor and Travis's place. I think it's it's the city where they are able to exist, live their life. Yes, of course, people hound them, paparazzi come out, all that stuff. But there's just a little bit more protection for them to get to do stuff that they want to do, like go out to dinner uh, and live their life. There's a little bit more like of a social life for them in New York City as opposed to someplace like Kansas City or whatever. So um, Friday night, they go on a little fun double date with Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. This was, I think, a double date people were wanting for a long time um, because obviously Taylor and Blake are super close. Taylor and Ryan are super close. And then Ryan and Travis, I think people felt like for a while, oh, these, these two will obviously get along well. They were together. I remember when Taylor had that party uh, in Rhode Island a few months ago or a couple, like right after her tour when she had Travis's family and Patrick and Brittany and all those people to her to her house in Rhode Island. Blake and Ryan were a part of that. Um, but it's fun that they got to do a little double date together in New York. Taylor and Travis both looked fantastic as always. Um, and then on Saturday night, they went to dinner by themselves, just the two of them for another date night. So that's fun for them. And also like, it's, it's cool that, I mean, it didn't, they didn't plan this, but it's nice that Travis's bye week came the weekend right before Taylor has to, has to be back on tour because they got to both, they got to enjoy the week without either of them having to work. Uh, I know some people thought that, or like there's some speculation that Travis filmed his Happy Gilmore 2 cameo during this bye week, which is definitely possible. Um, so I guess that's technically work, but it wasn't like they had to spend it uh, with one person being busy the whole time. So that's obviously really nice for them. And then uh, on Monday night, they went to the Yankees Guardian game. Um, obviously, Travis is from Cleveland, so it makes a lot of sense that he would want to go to that game. Um, and Taylor, I don't know that Taylor's a baseball fan necessarily, but you know, it was funny. There were some clips of the Yankee because the Yankees won and there were some clips of Taylor reacting to the Yankees scoring runs. I don't know if it was like a home run exactly or what it was, but she was seemingly excited. <laughs> and you know what? She's allowed to root for New York sports when it doesn't involve the Chiefs or Kansas City because she's been living in New York for, I guess now at this point, like 10 years. So I could see her having some allegiance to New York sports teams. Um, but they looked so cute. They looked like they were having a great time. They were there with Gerard Carmichael, who's a comedian and one of Taylor's friends, who's also been to a handful of Chiefs games with, with Taylor over the year. Like he went to the Bills Chiefs playoff game last year and I think one other game too. So they were having fun. I was kind of surprised to see them though, because I thought Travis would have to get back to Kansas City on Monday for practice and stuff, but it looks like he was able to spend one more day in NYC. And Taylor's really become, I mean, obviously she's become a sports girl because of Travis with football, but they're going to the US Open tennis. They're going to baseball games. I mean, next thing we'll, we'll probably see Taylor and Travis at a soccer game here soon. Obviously Patrick and Brittany are the owners of the Kansas City women's soccer team. So it wouldn't shock me if, if Taylor shows up there, uh, maybe they'll go to a basketball game. They're just going to be hitting all, all of the sports at this point, which is, which is fun. Um, so now Travis is back in Kansas city. 
gearing up for his game this weekend. And Taylor, obviously, she's got some shows to play this weekend in Miami, Florida, which is just, I don't know, it feels like this break, this little break in between her Europe shows and her US shows has gone by so fast. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. Um, but back on tour. And this is the last, last leg. Like we basically have less than a month of her being in the US before the US dates are done and dusted. And then she goes to Canada and then the tour is over, which is crazy because it feel it feels like this tour has been so long. And it also feels like it's gone by really fast. Um, but I can only imagine from Taylor's perspective, she's just, she's ready to be done with touring. I, I can't imagine how tiring and exhausting it is to just be on the road years, essentially. Like that's exhausting. We did get uh, news today that she is putting out an heiress tour book that people can go buy, uh, which is cool, kind of documenting all of her shows and what's gone on. And obviously I, I feel, I mean, I'm biased, but I feel like we're going to look back on this tour in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and it's going to be one of like the defining tours of our lifetime. Like I, I think it's going to go down as one of the greatest, most successful tours ever. And so it's cool that fans can get to buy this book that kind of commemorates this incredible experience and tour, especially if you if you went to the tour. It's like a cool... Um, piece of memorabilia that you get to keep and put it on your coffee table. Honestly, maybe I should buy it um, so I can have it and remember all the good times. Um, so that's what Taylor and Travis have been up to this week. A lot of fun times. I know, you know, there was some drama. There was some drama over the weekend um, regarding Travis Kelsey's ex. And you know what? I'm just, honestly, the, the truth of it is I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. Like, I think the people that are sending this ex a lot of hate, I think that's uncalled for and unjustified. Here's the thing. People can talk about their exes. It's, it just, it, it is what it is. I know there are people that think she's thirsty. I know there's people that think she's an attention seeker, whatever. I just don't care. I don't care. And I, I think people are wasting way too much energy on these sorts of things. Taylor and Travis are happy. Let them live their life. It doesn't matter. So that's my stance on all of that. Um, but yeah, we have a busy weekend ahead. Obviously, as I said, Taylor back on tour, Travis Ch Chiefs game. So next week we'll be back to break down all of the Taylor shows, the surprise songs that we're going to get, like lots to discuss. I can't wait. You know, will she announce reputation at some point? Maybe. I think it's, I think it's, I would bet on yes. I think at some point over the course of the next couple of months, she will announce reputation. It makes sense. Um, maybe she'll put out both reputation and debut at the same time. <laughs> Who knows? But it wouldn't it, it it wouldn't shock me. She's been wearing a lot of snakes, you know, snake adjacent stuff, plaid. She's kind of in her reputation era. So perhaps, perhaps. But anyway, that's it for today's show. As always, leave comments. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments of this video. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.